There's one. There's one. Guys, we got something. Yeah. All right. Nice way to start here, guys. Nice way to start. Come here, buddy. Yes. All right, guys. Our first fish. Not a big one. Maybe 11 inches. I don't think he's a foot, but man, that's a beautiful fish to start the evening here. A Kitek came through. Thanks, small mouth. There you go. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you could join me here today. It is a Monday. It is October the 21st. I just got off work. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Haven't been in the water maybe 10 minutes. And we've caught our first smallie of the day. We're throwing that 3.3 inch Kitek. I've got a couple of those pro blue shiners left and that's what we're throwing. This water's super clear. Just take a look guys where I'm at here and what it looks like. The fall foliage here in Southern West Virginia is really starting to heat up. But I got in the water just on the other side of the bridge there or around that bridge and just come up through here and we just landed, caught that first one maybe right in there. But just check out some of this water that is ahead of me. I don't have long, maybe two hours, two and a half at the most. But uh, I don't know how many trips we got left, guys. That's why I'm taking advantage of the opportunity. It's probably about 76 degrees out here. There's not a cloud in the sky. The water, again, is super clear. So I'm throwing the Kitek swim bait. I don't know if we'll keep it on there all evening. But we'll see what happens, guys. Like I said, it took us about 10 minutes to catch that fish. So I hope you guys tune in for this one. I hope you join me today. Let's have some fun, guys. Let's catch some fish. We got him. <laughs> we got something. Well, what in the world? A tiny, tiny smallmouth. He's not much bigger than that swim bait. But I think for bite. How many have I caught them this year? About four inches. I hope we can do some good today, guys. That's not good. Throwing it in a tree. We can't be doing that. But no, I've got about four or five bites so far. Of course, that one was about a five inch. Tiny, tiny smallmouth. Not much bigger than the swim bait. But I do hope we get some bites and hope we catch some fish. But so far, no longer than I've been out here, we have had four or five bites. So let's just hope that continues. So far, we've caught two on the old Kitek. I've got one more other Pro Blue Shiner left. If we lose this one or if it gets destroyed, which there's a good likelihood for that to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it till I don't have any left because I don't have much time anyway as long as I keep hitting it we'll keep it on there oh yeah there's another one another small one I think he, he might be a little bit bigger than that last one but not by much he might be six inches, where the other one was maybe five. All right, guys, we are covering some water here. Oh, there's no three fish. I don't think I've got a bite since I've caught that third one. But just want to cover some water here. I'll probably weigh this on back. When I head back to the truck, I'll fish this on the way back. Don't know if I'll continue to throw this. I just don't know probably been about 15 minutes or so since I've had a bite so I don't know what's going on I don't know can't guarantee you that we're gonna get any more bites but we're gonna keep throwing it here for a little while and see if we can find one I mean I'm in some really good looking water now and nothing but that is the mystery of fishing sometimes you just can't explain it There's one. Yeah, we 
hooked up. We hooked up. This is a little bigger than the last two at least. All right. And you give me my bait back. Thank you, small mouth. Appreciate it, buddy. There's another one, guys. I think that made number four for the day. Not doing too bad here. After work fishing. Still haven't found that big one. We still got our Kitek on here. Caught four on this bait. Let's see how many we can catch on it. We got a daggone. All right, man. Yes. All right, man. We got a walleye. All right. All right, folks. This walleye is 16 and a half. All right, 16 and a half inch, man. You can see it right there. All right. All right, guys. Check this one out. 16 and a half inch walleye can you believe it on the vampire rapala f9 just put it on caught a 16 and a half inch walleye let's see if he'll swim off swim off for me buddy he's gone he is gone back he goes well guys i was not expecting that but you better believe i will take it that is only my third walleye i've ever caught in my life my second biggest uh biggest being 20 and a half inches but guys i caught that in some of my local water didn't even know they were in there i have caught sauger out of the guyandot river but that is my first guyandot river walleye but uh, I, I knew it wasn't a bass i knew it was kind of fighting a little different but guys we had just made a change i'm fishing like i said i'm going on the way back to the truck so i'm fishing the same water i fished before i'm just throwing something different on the way back we've got the f9 vampire rapala and those of you who follow my channel know i like that lure haven't been throwing it a whole lot but i do like that lure uh i've caught a bunch of different fish on that lure i've caught some big bass in fact i caught my biggest my heaviest bass at five point five pound one ounce on the vampire palace i'm going to keep it on a little while we'll see if we can land a smallmouth. but i have just made that change maybe five minutes ago and we caught a 16 and a half inch walleye guys i know it's not a big walleye but it's something different like i said the first ever on the guide dot so let's keep throwing that vampire f9 rapala and let's see if we can catch maybe a smallmouth. yeah guys we're just going to wade back this way that's the way i'm headed that's the way i come you can see probably got a couple hundred yards of good water left and we're going to throw this f9 vampire rapala i'm thinking about maybe just finishing with it since i don't have long i was thinking about throwing that inline spinner or this and this is what we put on i'm kind of glad i did we caught that walleye if we don't catch another one but i was hoping we'd catch some smallies on it Real good, uh, real good smallmouth lure, man. I have caught so many on that thing. We'll see if we can get our first smallie of the day. All right, folks, it's about 10 minutes after 5. I think it was about 10 minutes after 3 when I got in the water this afternoon. I knew I didn't have long, only a couple hours in the water. But I managed to catch six fish, including a fish I did not expect to catch today. That's only my third walleye overall and my first ever here on the Guyandot River. So what can you expect? I mean, I don't believe I can expect much more in a couple of hours after work. I'm really coming off a pretty terrible weekend. But I will share with you a catch up at Rock House yesterday. Guys, I was out and about. Uh, like I said, it's been a tough fish Saturday and only caught a couple fish. My buddy, he didn't do good either. So I don't know what it was. I just thought I'd 
take my chances after work today and it turned out to be pretty fun out here in a couple hours but those of you who are still watching the very few of you that might still be watching this video i want to share with you catch up at rock house yesterday i was out throwing that kitek this time i was throwing that 3.8 i think it was called the sight flash kind of a white uh swim bait a little bit bigger swim bait but i end up hooking into a pretty decent large mouth in the small pond up at rock house so i thought i'd share with that you know share that with you here at the end of the video and guys thanks again for all the support man i can tell you guys have been hitting that subscribe button you've been watching the video so i really appreciate it i don't ever take it for granted and i want you guys to know that so i'm going to wrap it up here from the guy dot river another fun day i hope you guys enjoyed the video folks we'll catch you on the next one but until then thank you for watching swim bait all right guys one last look at him here beautiful large mouth i'd say about 15 inches we'll see you buddy all right there he goes <laughs>